We might not yet know or have heard the final say on what would end up being the final play of the Harlem football season, a play that led to an on-field fight, players going in the stands, and suspensions to players on both teams. Harlem's 24-0 playoff loss to Glenbard East ended 10 seconds early when video shows a Harlem player tackling the Glenbard East quarterback while he was kneeing the ball to end the game. According to a statement by Harlem principal Jeremy Boyce, during the on-field fight, Harlem players hit, punched, and shoved Glenbard East players, and a few players entered the stands and engaged physically with some spectators. IHSA Executive Director Craig Anderson told me today, while he can't get into specifics, players from both teams were handed suspensions. The Glenbard East players suspended will miss next week's playoff game, while the Harlem players suspended will be suspended for whatever their next varsity sports game is. We did receive a copy of the film and we've reviewed that, but we think the officials got it pretty accurate. If both benches would have cleared, that generally makes it very challenging for officials to track all those players. But in this case, I think the coaches did a nice job of keeping players on the sideline that were already on the sideline and the officials were able to catch the offenders and provide the appropriate penalties. In the statement, Principal Boyce said, we have to do better. We will make our own mistakes. This conduct was abhorrent and contrary to everything we stand for as a community, school, and athletic program. We will make a swift and appropriate action with everyone involved. Boyce goes on to say being a Harlem Husky is about being strong, honorable, respectful, and determined. It is not about wins and losses. We failed in our mission last night, not because of the score, but in how we represented ourselves in the Harlem community.